welcome back first i need to fold my fabric since i'm working on the half length and i'm focusing more on the front part to fold i'll be using the bust circumference measurements plus eight divided by four so this is the same as um the bust circumference divided by four plus two inches which is a same sewing allowance so here i folded which is 10.5 the half length is 15 inches and I'm going to increase this to 16 inches. So that's because I need to join. This is my 16 inches and I need to measure down my 8.5 for the arm all or chest line. I have my 12.5 inches for the under bust length that's from the shoulder. On that bust length is 12.5 inches. Now I'm going to take the shoulder, shoulder measurements divided by two, and below the 8.5, I'm going to get the bust circumference measurement plus eight divided by four, and below the under bust length, I'm going to take the under bust circumference plus eight divided by four. Now I'm going to connect this. You can take one inch from those points to connect. Then from the bust, you connect to the under bust circumference. Let's cut this out. Now I'm going to take the princess dart line. So from the middle, I'll be taking four inches. And the four inches will stop at the nipple point. From the shoulder to the nipple point is nine inches. And on the ham O, I'll be taking four inches. You can go ahead to take 3.5, you can take 4.5, you can take five inches depending on your choice. Now we'll connect this to the nipple point like this. And the neck design, I'm going to use, uh, I'll be working with the width measurement of three inches like this. And the depth, now, First, I'm going to notch this and I'm going to slant the shoulder by one inch. The shoulder is always slant. So I'll go with my one inch like, like this. Now, to cut the back, all you just need to do is place the front and hard your zipper allowance. I'll, I won't be showing us how to do that in this tutorial. We're focusing more on the neck and the princess that now the points with which to which you, you want your um neck design will determine what to measure from this part now on this on my right hand side i'll be working with a depth of six inches and the left hand side i'll be working with the depth of two inches now, how do I connect? This will go like a round shape. Then from my two inches, I'll draw my slant line to connect with the six inches. Then straight to the notch part, just like this. Like this. Now, in, you can as well go ahead with your desired measurement this could be five, this could be three. Just work with your desired um, measurement. So I'll cut this. Now, just in case you don't um, want a straight line, you can still work along with it. You can design, you know, some create a design, something like this. Just play along with it. Now I'm going to follow the design sketch.
so this is what i have i'm also going to cut this out for the princess that and i'll place it on my main fabric now the base which is um the peplum part of it i have a video on how to cut different types of flay so you can watch that to go to um cut out your desired type of flay and the base as well is a dress which is a six pieces part i have um different tutorials on how to cut six pieces skirts so I'll be placing this on the main fabric to cut and I'll still be showing us how to join it because I'll be cutting out my lining as well. If you like us to work on any tutorial, you can drop that in the comment section. Kindly like, share this video so others too would learn and you can as well leave your comments in the comment section. If this is your first time, kindly subscribe to this channel, please subscribe. And as well, you need to click the bell to get notified. It's very important. Now make sure you have the, the right part so you don't um, go and, you know, change the design or cut from the wrong side. The first thing I'll be doing is joining the princess that then I'll be cutting lining for both the front and the back. So we are joining the princess that for the front and the back. I already cut out lining for the front and the back so I'll just be turning the neck So I already turned, then I also turned the sides. That's for the front. We're going to do the same to the back. For the back, I'll be turning the neck and I'll also turn the two sides. That's the zipper side and the side of, um, of the dress. So let's do the same. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is to join the shoulder for both the front and the back. And I'm also going to bring out the shape, which is going to be the bust circumference divided by two and the under bust circumference divided by two.
right this has been done what i did here was to uh, measure the bust you divide it by two for instance i have the bust measurement of 34 inches and in total i have um 19 inches so this 19 inches that means 34 divided by 2 is 17 so i have two inches excess so i took one inch on the right hand side and one inch on the left hand side the same thing with the under bust um circumference measurements so the half length has been done we'll move to the base of the of the dress which is the flared part now i have my flared like i said I already have a tutorial on how to cut different types of flare. So um, here I have the lining cut out already. Step one step. What I did was this is this is the first step of eight inches. The second step is six inches, while the third step is um, four inches length. I already cut out the lining as well and i use the lining to turn i've turned this so i'm going to use this to show you how to turn your flare after turning i'm going to notch and top stitch you all know i top stitch my flare and the reason for doing that is just because i want to secure my lining because i wouldn't want um a situation where my lining is coming out at the end of the day after sewing so once you top stitch is going to secure the lining and by the time i press my dress it's going to lay just like that now i've not ironed the dress and you can see what we have here already so that's the major reason for top stitching the lining just to secure the lining on the dress I'm also going to turn the side and from what I have I have excess lining so I'll just trim it out to close up the sides so I'll be closing up the two sides Now these are the steps of my flare. I am going to place the half length to join now. Just like this. So I'm going to join this.
we are gradually moving now we're going to move to the six pieces part of our dress and uh, our symmetric neck is out already I already have a video on um, how to make an asymmetric dress you can watch my tutorial on that so let's move to the six pieces part of our dress now this is um the uh, six pieces this is three pieces for the front and as well for the back i'll like i said i have a tutorial like two different tutorials or three of them on how to cut um six pieces